Hey there guys, welcome back, hope you're all doing well, this is Chetan here from Devil Cube, and I'm back again today with another tutorial which is going to be in Photoshop. We're going to, we're going to be learning to create uh, a clean and simple, beautiful looking sticker mockup in uh, Photoshop. Uh, it's going to be a pretty quick tutorial and it's going to turn out really fun. So without further ado, let's get started. Photoshop on a blank document. I'm just gonna go change the color of this to white so we can see better. This is a 1920 by 1080p document and uh, we are ready and uh, good to go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of this to um, probably a red color, something like that. Um, and we can just apply that color. Uh, we can change the color later if we want, but let's not focus on that now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and import my logo. So I'm going to go to file and I click on uh, um, place embedded and then I'm going to go and choose my logo. Now when you are uh, adding a logo or a text or whatever, make sure it does not have a white color stroke. All right. So if I open this up, um, you can see it doesn't have a white color stroke and this is what we have. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make sure that it is a smart object. If you don't know if it is a smart object, the small icon in the bottom right corner that is indicating that it is a smart object. But if it is not, you can go right click and choose a convert to smart object. I think there'll be an option over here. Oh yeah, convert to smart, jar, smart object right over there. And once I do that, I can just double click and I, it'll take me over here and I can go ahead and replace this with anything else. Press Ctrl S to save and get back to my original uh, composition and it would automatically update. All right, cool. So uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, add in a stroke. So I'm gonna double click on this, go ahead and choose the stroke options and uh, we can set it to 25 or whatever you want depending on your liking. I'm gonna go ahead and actually reduce the size of this down like so, there we go. And uh, let's see the stroke, we can set that to 25 and uh, that's pretty good. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is that we're gonna group this by pressing Control G. And then on this one, on the main group, uh, okay, let's just call this a single sticker. And on this one, we can double click on that. And then we can go and choose an airdrop shadow. And these are the settings. The blending mode set to linear burn, the opacity set to 50, distance set to two, spread zero, and the size to eight. And uh, we have this uh, pretty simple shadow. Uh, now that's pretty much it on this sticker. It already looks like a beautiful sticker, but we're gonna add in a little bit of um, effect to this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close this up and go ahead and click on uh, this and uh, on on uh, the the adjustment layer and uh, choose gradient. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and set this to a black to white gradient. Uh, we're gonna set the style to just click on OK. OK. We're gonna set the style to reflected. Uh, and at the angle, we can set it to whatever angle you want, and uh, we can probably increase the scale. Right? Um, I think I think let's set it to 75. That's up to you. And go ahead and click on OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and choose Create to a Smart Object. And then we're going to go and click on a Levels Adjustments layer. And uh, this is going to be 50 for the shadows and 90 for the highlights and click on OK. And then we can just close this up. Then we're go and gonna go and add a brightness and contrast, which is gonna be 150 and this is gonna be 100. And then we're gonna select the gradient fill layer, go to filter, um, filter gallery. And in the filter gallery, we are going to go under distort and choose glass. The distortion is set to 25. Oh, I think that's the max and the smoothness, we can set that to five uh, or let's actually set it to three or for whatever you think, I think I'm gonna set it to three. And uh, frosted, the scaling, we can increase that up to 200, uh, maybe even 250, that's up to you. Go ahead and click on okay. Oh, okay, I think 200 is the max, so we're gonna go click on okay. Awesome, we have this. And now I'm gonna go to filter, uh, sharpen and choose sharpen. It's gonna make it even more sharper. All right, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all these three layers, right click and choose merge layers. So we have this one big fat layer. I'm gonna make a copy by pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard and uh, this is gonna to be top and uh, the bottom one is gonna be bottom. All right, now for the top, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here to my blending modes and set this to soft light and set the opacity of this to 25. Now we don't see any change, that's because the bottom one is also there. 
we're gonna go and set this to multiply and set the opacity of this down to two all right so now as you can see we get this really cool sticker effect now it is applying on everything else so in order to fix that what i'm going to do is i'm going to select these two right click and choose create clipping mask now as you can see it is there only on the sticker and you can see this this actual sticker effect it looks really good really good i must say uh if you want we can even scale this down i really i really have no idea how it's gonna look all right uh, let's zoom in all right cool looking like a really cool sticker effect all right, it's looking really good. I think we'll stick to the normal one. All right, so um, that's how we create the sticker. Now, uh, if you want to create a stack of stickers, pretty simple. I select everything, press Control G, and uh, this is going to be the sticker. Uh, T I C K E R sticker, and we can place this over. We can just place it over there. Make a copy by pressing Control J, press Control T, and uh, we can rotate this. Press Ctrl J again, we can move this up, press, okay, press Ctrl J again, move this to the left, uh, and then we can give this a simple rotation, press Ctrl J, we can move this up like so, uh, press Ctrl J again, we can move this up again, uh, and this time Ctrl T, and then just give this a simple rotation. All right, and now it looks like there is a bunch of stickers on top of each other. So the biggest thing that makes it uh, give look, get a sticker look is the drop shadow and uh, this this pattern that we added. Right now, let's go ahead and take an example of changing it. So if I come here and go to my uh, smart object, I just go ahead and click on that, and let's delete that, and then okay, let's actually go ahead and add in a text. I'm just going to add in a text. I'm going to put in the letter A. Uh, and then just go ahead and scale this up all right and you can log this press ctrl s to save and come back and boom there we go we have the letter a and all this uh let's go ahead and just change the color for a second all right and then press ctrl s come back over here and as you can see we have our stickers pretty good so that's pretty much it on how to create this cool sticker effect uh, mock-up in Adobe Photoshop. Hope you guys really enjoyed it and I hope you guys uh, thought it was a fun tutorial. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to mention them in the comment sections down below. Subscribe to my channel for more content and I will definitely see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.